All right, welcome to our formatting and citation section of our screencast series for lab report writing for Mr. Johnson's biology class. Here you can see the rubric for this section, and um, some of these are just easy points. Uh, it goes without saying that you should have headings on each section, and you shouldn't have spelling and grammar errors. Formatting, I've talked a little bit about, for example, using past passive voice already. Uh, that should also be done as well. Well, you might lose some points here as well. But the real thing I want to focus this talk on is um, using proper citation method. So unlike uh, English papers, which you probably use MLA for, science usually cites in what's called APA format. Uh, APA format um, is similar to MLA, but it follows its own set of formatting rules. So let's look at those a little bit. So here uh, is a link that is off of that lab report rubric. There's a number of sources out there. If you don't want to use this one, you can just Google APA formatting, and you'll find a ton of them out there. So there's really no excuse for not um, being able to find how to do it. Um, I honestly don't have all the details memorized of using APA format. That's why I rely on this, which is, uh, this is citationmachine.net. There's several different citation um, websites out there, they basically automate the process for you. So all you have to do is choose your citation format, in this case APA, and then the type of thing you're using, book, magazine, newspaper, website, etc., and plug in the information that it asks for you. So um, you know, whether that be our AP Bio textbook for my AP class or your advanced bio book, or whether that be a book from the library, whether it be a website, etc., cetera. But, um, you can use a number of different sources here. Uh, so you would use this citation machine and plug in the information so that you could generate it, and it'll actually even let you copy-paste that into your lab report. So if we go back to our sample here, we can see, going back to the introduction, and this is really the main place where you're going to have sources, I have parenthetical citations throughout. So it's not enough just to throw a bibliography on the end you also need to have parenthetical citation. APA format tends to use author and year. You might be wondering what this et al is. That's just Latin for and others. If you have, I believe it's three or more authors, um, or maybe it's just more than three, you should use et al instead rather than getting a laundry list of the names of people who contributed. The primary author goes first, and then the et al, and then the year. So essentially we always give a author year citation format, or parenthetical citation for, for APA. We don't use page numbers and all that here. Uh, APA does change a little bit when you're using sources that don't have an author, uh, so you'll want to look at that style guide for that, um, but uh, it usually involves a description of the title of the web page. A uh, quick note about the types of sources you use. Um, in this day and age, people love to use internet sources, and I'm no different. And Wikipedia is a great place to start. However, um, it's not a source in and of itself because Wikipedia is merely a collection of information cited by other people or citing other people's work. So if you are using Wikipedia as your source, I will take off points for you. If we went to the Wikipedia entry on enzymes, you're going to find a ton of sources within that Wikipedia page that you could in turn go to and cite those, and you shouldn't just cite them without going to the information, but you could look up the link to that information and go to that source, and then from there cite that information. And actually, this is a really good way, scientists do this all the time, to build up the number of sources you have. Go to a general source that includes a lot of citations to specific information, and then go to those specific sources and use those uh, to write your lab report with. So it's actually very easy to rack up a number of sources in very short order using this. Um, so what else on spot citing? Always use parenthetical citation. Um, also, don't wait until you finish your lab report to start doing your um, bibliography. Build it as you go. That way you don't have to go, wait, where did I get this information from? You can just simply use that citation machine website paste in the information as you're collecting it, generate your source, and then put it at the end. Um, beyond that, 
I don't get super, super nitpicky on citation. As long as I feel like you are making the effort to cite your sources and you're not throwing out really specific information that clearly didn't come out of your head, then you should be okay. But with that said, if I see information in your lab report that is very specific or is just information that I know you couldn't have known, you need to cite that. For example, this statement, enzymes or macromolecules, blah, 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 that's actually a pretty general piece of information that any high school student um, will know by the time they're in AP Biology. I still went ahead and cited that, though, because I felt like this is some specific information. Um, a, a true researcher probably would not have cited this. At the high school level, I expect you to. Okay, so that explains basically what you should cite and how you should cite it. And remember, Wikipedia is not a source. It is merely a way to get to sources. If you have any questions, as always, come see me and I'll be happy to explain to the best of my ability. Uh, and good luck writing your lab reports. Hope this helps.